In crashed out news, it has been found that Chrome actually crashes when an overly long URL or hyperlink is on a web page. Hmm. An interesting crash. <laughs> so this is a page about it here on GitHub. And the authors made a post on Reddit, and that unfortunately got rather popular. <laughs> Let's take a look at it. So it says, this link crashes Chrome. And sure enough, when you view it in Firefox, no it doesn't. So let's go to the post about it and open it in Chrome. Oh yes, why not? So, oh, ah, he's dead, Jim. Either Chrome ran out of memory or the process for the web page was terminated for some other reason. So at least Chrome's sandboxing actually protected the browser from crashing entirely, so you can st still continue to work. You just have to close the tab and open another one. So this link crashes Chrome. Yep, it certainly does. Hmm. So why would it be doing that? And also, why does it only work on HTTP web pages? Because you note, HTTP only, HTTPS seems to be perfectly fine. So what is going on? Well, buffer overflow perhaps. It does mention about running out of memory. Interestingly, I was dealing with something here recently. This is a server-side issue though. But uh, an old version of Sun iPlanet's web server had a similar issue where an overly long URL passed to it actually could crash the web server. You're only dealing with a client-side issue here this time. So if someone went on to a message board, you could post that URL and anyone with Chrome, <laughs> which is actually quite a lot of people these days, yeah, anyone with Chrome would not be able to view it and would have their browser crash. So anyway, what is going on? Could it be a buffer overflow? Now, if you don't know what a buffer overflow is, allow me to explain the definition. So say a programmer has allocated a 15 character long block for a name and they've allowed text input from a user. Now say the user goes and enters 20 characters and the programmer uses the memcopy function and blindly fails to allocate a specific range of characters to be copied across. Now, what would happen there is the program would copy 20 characters that the user has written into a 15 character long string, which is too small. So five characters would end up going somewhere. And where would they end up going? Well, they probably would float around in the memory somewhere on the computer. Mm, doesn't sound particularly dangerous there. But what you can do with that is you could get some like shell code that could be rather nasty. So say privilege escalation, or go and download another program, you go and execute this other program. So you pass this great long line of characters into a string. That program just goes, yeah, I'm going to copy that across to the memory. So then the computer would do something with that. And then to go on a little bit further, you put a bunch of no-op codes into it, which the CPU would just go ignore, carry on to the next command. So that'd be anything to do here, no, move to the next command, anything to do, no, anything to do, oh yes, I have this file to download. So you've taken over the memory that the program is using and the computer is just now blindly doing what it's got instructed in memory, which could be some rather nasty stuff. So that's, sort of, that's a, like a basic definition of buffer overflow, it's you push too many characters in to a too small area. Programmers fail to do any kind of length checking on the user input. You can then make the computer do, well, anything. Could that be happening in Chrome? Well, that's an interesting theory. I don't think anyone's even explored that possibility yet. That could be quite interesting. Maybe we'll find out over the next few days. Well, Chrome have fixed it in version 42, which you know, could be released fairly soon. So if they get on and patch it, we won't really have a problem. But for any versions of Chrome older, well, they could be. So that was the news that Chrome can crash through overly long URLs on a web page. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.